Hello everyone, it's time to talk safety. Let's go over some guidelines in order to avoid cuts, burns, electrical shock, and damage to your eyesight. To start off, we want to remove any watches or jewelry, and also secure our loose clothing. Done. We also need to make sure that we turn off and unplug any equipment before we work on it. A safe and usable workstation is going to be a clean workstation, so make sure you keep food and drinks and any clutter out of our workspace. We also need to make sure that as we work inside of a computer case, that any sharp objects should be covered with tape. For your own safety, you should never open a power supply or a monitor that has a built-in power supply. And while we work, it's very important to wear safety goggles to prevent damage to your eyesight. When you go to lift those heavy computer towers, printers, servers, and more, make sure that you bend your knees when you lift heavy objects to avoid injuring your back. As we work with electrical and dangerous components, you never know when something might catch fire. You should always know where the closest fire extinguisher is, and also how to use it. As we discuss fire safety, it's important that you remember to never fight a fire that is out of control, or not contained. You should make sure that you know how to get out of the building quickly that you are in. And don't forget to contact emergency services for help. Make sure you're prepared. You should locate and read the instructions on any fire extinguisher near your workspace before you use them. Also, you should make sure that the fire extinguisher is going to work. For example, this fire extinguisher no longer is ready to work. It needs a recharge. Now, a fire can spread very quickly and also be very costly. You should know the basics of using a fire extinguisher to prevent a small fire from getting out of control. The word you have to remember is PASS. P stands for pull the pin. A stands for aim at the base of the fire, not at the flames. S stands for squeeze the lever. S stands for sweep the nozzle from side to side. You should be familiar with the different types of fire extinguishers. Some fire extinguishers, they're actually designed for paper, wood, plastics, and cardboard, while others are designed for electrical equipment or even gasoline or combustible metals. This fire extinguisher here is rated for a couple items. It's rated for trash, wood, and paper. It's rated for liquids, grease, and it's rated for electrical. Let's take a look at my fire extinguisher in action.